So there's an ongoing discussion about the NVIDIA drivers uh, issues with DPC latency and stuttering causing crackling sound and poor performance. This thread is from 2016 and to this day people claim that they have audio popping issues with their NVIDIA drivers. And I think NVIDIA fixed their DPC latency issue and it's not a problem anymore. So I want you to check your DPC latency with LatencyMon, you can download this online, and check how high your DPC latency count is. If it is actually above 100, you have a problem with DPC latency. But you want to check if it's actually NVIDIA that is causing this issue, or if it's other stuff on your system, because DPC latency is not is probably not caused by one faulty driver, but many faulty drivers. Because people say they have uh, DPC latencies of 500 microseconds, which is insane. So you want to keep it below 100. I don't have any problems with the uh, newest NVIDIA drivers from November 2017. And uh, yeah, I will show you how to fix your DPC latency issues and uh, how to determine if it's NVIDIA that is causing them. So first of all, you want to go into your device manager, go to your graphics card and disable your graphics card drivers. Just right click it and disable device. Don't worry, your system will work fine. Do this and check if your latency goes down significantly. Let's say you had uh, 100 and it goes down by 50. It probably is an NVIDIA issue. If it doesn't go down or just goes down by 10 or something, it is not an NVIDIA, NVIDIA issue and you should stop claiming that NVIDIA is causing your DPC latency issues. Having that said is you want to make sure you install your NVIDIA drivers uh, in the experienced user setting and disable everything you don't need. You probably don't need 3D if you have a USB headset or if you have an external sound card or something, you don't need HD audio drivers, you don't need NVIDIA GeForce Experience definitely not and you probably won't need physics so only install the graphics drivers and you you got rid of a, a big amounts of junk another important thing when installing graphics card drivers is to clean your PC from old graphics card drivers you do this by installing or using display driver uninstaller you probably want to run it in safe mode which you can choose in a prompt when starting the program and then you want to clear your computer from Intel files, AMD files, and NVIDIA files. Because if you had an AMD card installed previously, you want to clear your PC. And maybe you also had Intel files from an onboard video card, right? So make sure you clean everything before installing new NVIDIA card drivers. After you installed and cleanly installed your NVIDIA card drivers, you want to go back to LatencyMon and check if there are other drivers that cause high total execution. For example, it could be your network drivers. So you want to update your network drivers. Um, if you don't know which description fits which driver, you just want to Google it. For example, TCP is probably your network driver. Um, you want to find these and you want to update these. And I personally use Snappy Driver Installer to update my drivers. <laughs> You probably only want to update drivers that have a, that cause problems, right? You don't need to fix drivers that don't have a problem. So, for example, it's the uh, network drivers. You then download the drivers for Snappy Driver Installer and update your network drivers. The next thing is checking out the guide I put in the description. Um, this is by Roach on Overclock.net. He goes really, really in depth and nitpicking on uh, DPC latency issues. Um, starting with your BIOS settings, you want to disable, basically he says disable everything you don't need. Um, be careful though, it can happen that you disable stuff you don't know stuff about, so Google it before you disable it if you don't know what it is. For me, for example, I can disable onboard video and onboard audio because I have dedicated interfaces for this, like graphics card and USB headset, so I don't need this stuff, okay? Um, same for high precision event timer. Um, probably you want this disabled. Um, like he writes, there's an explanation by a software engineer saying that you 
definitely want to disable high precision event timer. You do this in your BIOS and you, you need to do this in your uh, Windows too by um, using an elevated command prompt and pasting uh, this command here, okay? And it will say you deleted something. If it says you already deleted it, then you probably did this step before. So this disabled uh, high precision event timer and helps with uh, latency. The next thing that causes latency issues are audio devices. So you want to right click the speaker symbol on your tray and click sounds. And for every single device listed in uh, these two tabs, you want to right click them and for format you want to choose CD quality, 44.1 kilohertz. Apply this and disable all enhancements because audio enhancements cause latency. Do this for all your devices and also check if you need all the devices that are listed here. For me, I have my headset, I have my speakers and I have one microphone, but I don't need a second microphone, so I just deactivate it. And the next thing you want to do then is go to your device manager, go to view and check show hidden devices and then it will show a list of grayed out devices and you want to delete every single grayed out device. For example, the microphone I just deactivated, which is the same as disconnecting it, maybe uh, there are devices here that, I, uh, that were connected to the PC previously, you want to delete them, just right click and uninstall. Um, for the Microsoft stuff here, you cannot uh, delete it, it will come back, so just keep Microsoft uh, there. But for all the other stuff like monitors or mice or uh, graphics card drivers, you want to delete the grayed out stuff. This will keep your system from dealing with unnecessary um, previous devices. The last thing I want to do is recommend some things that don't necessarily um, help with DPC issues, but they do um, provide a better user experience in my opinion. First thing is O and O Shut Up 10, which is one of many programs that disables Windows 10 um, features. Um, you can just go through the list and see what you want to disable and whatnot. For example, I like to disable Windows Update and just check for updates manually like once a month or something. And uh, you can disable so many stuff, it's pretty nice I think. The next thing I want to recommend is Tiny Nvidia Update Checker, which is this little program here. It checks if your uh, Nvidia drivers are up to date. So you don't need GeForce Experience to check if you have the latest drivers. You just run this uh, program every once in a while and check if your drivers are up to date and if they are not up to date it will automatically um, give you a window with the newest drivers, tell you what is new and you can download uh, the drivers just with this program. It's pretty awesome. Big, re big recommendation here. And the last thing I want to recommend is go through your, through your uh, services. Um, which are, which is this uh, window here. Go through your services and make sure you disable everything you don't need. Again, this might be things like Windows Update or for example, Nvidia telemetry, you wanna disable this. And if you don't really know what to disable, go to blackviper.com black and check, uh, check his recommendations uh, for services to disable. It's pretty nice. Um, just, yeah, make sure you go through these things, you read the guides if you have DPC issues and if you have questions, feel free to ask me.